Good morning, everybody. Peace Outcast here, back with more of the Shadowborn, and we are here at Stender's Beacon to talk to Ver Verenya, Verenya, about the Vampire Menace. I think she's inside here. Hello. So you return. I trust Stendar's blessing aided you in your quest. Um, I'm working on it. Stendar's blessing was a means to an end, nothing more. If by aid you mean cure my foot fungus, then yes, I'm working on it. I see. If this pilgrimage you are on does not interest you, then it is time you abandoned it to serve Stendar in a more tangible capacity. How may I be of, of how may I be of service, vigilant? Your alacrity is commendable. You would make a fine vigilant if you were to wear the cloth. I'm wearing cloth. Alas, we have no time for initiation rituals. Thus, you will accompany me as an honorary vigilant to Kronvanger Cave in Eastmarch. Now, as I informed you previously. Our focus has shifted recently from the Daedra to the Vampire Menace. Alright. The cave is believed to be one of the strongholds, but this information is unreliable. It could be another trap meant to divide our numbers. Um, I sincerely hope we're not walking all the way there. This beacon is an important watchtower as it stands on the border between three provinces. It offers prayer and safe passage to travelers to and from each. However, as we stand on the fringes, the vampire have laid waste to the countryside. To reach the cave, we need only travel to Lake Honrich and follow the path north of the river. However, as an adventurer, you may know of a more direct path. Thus, I will allow you to take the lead. Time is of the essence. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Escort her to Kronvengar. Can we just fast travel there? Because we've... We're, we're, we're almost there. All right, let's just try this. I saved, so, you know. Okay. Oh, you changed outfits. Cool. You're awesome. These characters... All these characters are really cool. Uh, yes, yeah, so we want to head north. That away. Hope you don't mind running through some uh, wastes. Gonna have trouble getting around that. Oh, not too bad. Her pathing's actually pretty good. Um, yeah, let's stay away from that dragon. Oh boy. Do you, do you, oh you do, sh you do, um, sneak. Oh my goodness. You know, I almost want to make an entire build series based around the interesting NPC followers. <laughs> Can you imagine? That, that's a big series. That is a big series. Well, we're here. Okay. Want me to lead you right inside? The spider eggs outside mark this cave as a beast layer. If the Nightwalkers live here, there must be a secret entrance. Secret entrance. Oh. Ah, yes. There is a secret entrance inside here, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Well, uh, let's see. Let's 
fear you. And then... Frenzy. All of you. Everybody freak out. Oh, really? Oh, huh, okay. One left. It's right here. Now it would be best to not step on any traps. That is a very powerful dog. Um. Hmm. Um. Don't want to hit her. Oh, I haven't been using Shadow Step. I oh, need to do that. That's powerful. Very powerful against them. Um. So, do you want me to... Do you like to cure me? I would like you to cure me. No, no, that's... Alright. Oh, man. Cool move. Got your weapon out, and yet you're still kind of sitting over there. Okay, uh, let's do... Mind vision. You... Unfortunately, the mind vision doesn't really help us see. You cannot harm those who walk in the light. Are you feeling all right? Hey, you're just just chilling up there. I don't know if I want to attack them. Necessarily. Uh oh. Did they spot you? Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, and now there's Master Vampires, too. Down on the ground. Ooh. There. Guys everywhere. able to reach him from here? Why can I not reach him? Right. There we go. 
Are you... I'm just just stand there. Uh, that is not what I wanted. You can have that back. Oh. Okay. Is there something up there? I know he's a vampire. When you arrived, I had been watching this cabin for three days. I was supposed to wait for the rest of the clan. When you eliminated the frogs, I had no choice but to join the fight. I found this one pressed against the shadows, completely invisible if not for magic. Yours is to train in detecting life, to find danger. Why does he still live? Explain yourself. Calm yourself, vigilant. His is a blood that has not been spoiled. Perhaps he knows where his clanmates have gone off to. Very well. Interrogate your prisoner. But when it is done, who will answer to Stendar for his crimes? I apologize, boy. The High Elf has seen many of her friends die in the hands of the just as your life was stolen by their wickedness. The unclean, the ones whose blood is spoiled, they are not your family. You need not protect them. Mara's eye. <laughs> Once more, ours is to delight in your passing. Yet, this is not the time for a lengthy reunion. I know the ones he speaks of, Twin Dunmer. If the rumors are true, they once served Clan Volkiar. Of course, they say these two were afflicted by three separate diseases. Power, hunger, and madness. If Clan Volkihar is truly as paranoid as the tales say, then you can see why such a pair would be exiled. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't remember Renori, but apparently I've met her. Yes, as have I. Both her and Arlas have made me realize that the war I fight is against those who have fed. The taint comes only when you drink the blood that is not your own. That is all fine and good, but you have yet to reveal how you make the blades. What are you hiding? My soul is bare and vigilant, as are my words. Yours is to listen so that you may understand. There are stories of vampire changes, premature and tainted forms. Telboth of legend are one such clan. They simulate their lives. They come home to their victims' families and eat at their tables. They let the mothers of the dead kiss their foreheads and tuck them to sleep. And when they have grown to full size, it is the parents of whom they feast. These twins, Elderoth and Egger, they were my old partner's kin. He knew them, loved them, embraced them. His was to tell me a story of a cold, bleak night when the walls of his home were painted in blood. Nonsense. What you speak of are nothing more than children's ghost stories. They are vampires, are they not? Then they can be slain. Moreover, we are not a married couple looking to rear children. The craven tactics you describe will not serve them on the field of war. Come, let us hurry and be done with these vampires. Every minute we are separated from Stendar's beacon puts it in further peril. Oh. Okay, everybody's following me then. And uh, my vampire friends, please try not to ah, do that. Is that not you appear to have some sympathy for the boy Renori's brother not exactly I lied when I said the boy was not fully spoiled there is no such thing. The infection is absolute. His was a life that ended the instant he chose to feed. What spoke were the dying embers of another person's memory. So I have sympathy for the boy that was, and not the ash that lies before us. Yet, both are guilty of the crime. I thought the existence of a cure for vampirism would change your opinion. Oh, but it has. Ours was to believe death came at the point of infection. Now, I believe it comes when the unclean choose to feed. Hmm. I'd like to ask you about the Dunmer twins. I only know what Arlas told me. At first, I thought they were as the Vigilant described. Children's stories. I even gave a similar reply. But alas, his was to return my laughter with a steely gaze. And a pain whose depth was unimaginable. Given I am responsible for his demise, ours is to ease his pain in death. 
to help make amends for failing in life. Hmm. Still fighting the good fight, I see. Yes. Admittedly, I was conflicted when we met. But our conversation gave me the resolve I needed to push forward. It is not our job to save the unclean. They were given a choice and chose poorly. Hmm. Okay, well, um, it's a good thing I know roughly where Mara's eye is because uh, it's not actually showing up on my map. You guys gonna swim across here okay? Oh, he wants to go around. You're, you're an Argonian though. Okay, well. Don't know what that's all about. Oh, hello bear. No need for us to kill you. Or two. Well, hopefully they will. Oh, I think she's finding a way. There you go. This is the place. Oh. Um. Search Mars I pond. Yes. Uh, not be a great idea to do that when we come out we're gonna have trouble well we're here we're afraid well, are the nice doctors your hostage promised us do not tell me that boy played us for fools patience vigilant I believe his was to tell the truth these crates could be filled with supplies That proves nothing. They could belong to bandits. Smugglers, even. Perhaps. Yet they could also belong to vampires. Stocking up for a protracted dawn. There. Look at the table. Fresh bones and blood. <laughs> they were here. It seems your hostage was not entirely useless after all. The question now is, where have they gone? It does seem rather peculiar that not a single vampire would remain to guard his supplies. Unless the supplies themselves were meant to hide something deeper. What do you mean? The pond is surrounded by land. But the water here runs underground. You spoke to the sister, did you not? Hers whose family was taken? Remember what she said about the vampires? How they used the river to face through the ice. Hmm. Mm hmm. What sister? Phasing through ice? What is he talking about? Hmm. 
I spoke to the elf he refers to. I don't. It wasn't really listening. <laughs> a, a family was abducted by vampires near the docks. Then they could already be on their way north. We must hurry, lest their numbers swarm. What if they didn't swim up the river to snatch their victims? What if there was a tunnel that allowed them to travel to and from the docks? We're already fairly deep. How much further could we possibly descend? I am unsure. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. A new hand touches the beacon. Listen, hear me and obey. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. A darkness that you will destroy. One moment, guys. I'm just hearing voices in my head. Return my beacon to Mount Kilcreath. And I will make you the instrument of my cleansing light. The size of this dagger is absolutely ridiculous. I gotta install a lean weapons mod. Anyway, I'm going to not desecrate this vigilant, even though he's got like really expensive clothes. Uh, and we're gonna. Uh, could you not interfere with my ability to access this? Shouldn't we be actually underwater? Um, okay. You guys not coming with? Alright. Um, frenzy on you guys. <laughs> you stinking, rotten, nasty, mongrel thing. Go away. I am not happy about being bitten by that thing. Well, one is down. say so close but I think I think I actually did die maybe still three more enemies though okay one went down why are they still aggroed oh are they still fighting they're still fighting 
Still fighting my... Ah, uh, now they're dead. I think they finished off my... Uh, my Atronach, finally. Seems like my Atronach was in a pretty good spot. There's you. And there's you. Dogie. Um. Doop, 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 doop. This and this. Quite get him. Just have this ready to go, and let's go ahead and grab that. And you are a thrall. Oh, good grief! Can you just die already, Wolf? Cast, uh, where is it? There. Cast that right there. When he comes back, he gets hit by her. Oddly enough, okay. Destruction's at 50. But a spell has been empowered, and then not empowered. I hear and see things over there. This cannot possibly be good. Hmm. If I place this here, I wish it would show up. I don't like that it often doesn't show up where it's being placed. Are you guys not not fighting, Chai? Are you fighting at range? Ah, uh, you're healing. That's not good. Nice. Gained level. Um... I... Guess? More... Man, we have so much magic. I guess more magic. Uh... Raw power will increase our potency a little bit. In place runes at any distance. Okay. Oh, I think there was... I wanted to dual cast this, right? To make it more powerful. 
Oh, yeah, I need to try the step through shadows thing. Let's just take a look. Oh, sorry, it's a shadow step. Step through the shadows to another location. Oh, yeah, it's just a just fast travel. It's fine. Oh, you're missing. Okay, you hit that one. Nice. Now, what is going on over here? Exactly. Eldritch Blasts. And there's another guy. He never actually became aggroed to me, which is interesting. So they, it looks like they used the same, um, used the same dungeon layout as the one where the, there's the necromancer that's, uh, necromancer that is um, killing and raising women to be his slaves. Although, I don't remember there being another passage this way. with an absolute crap load of spectral wolves. Great. We just not get involved with them because that would be really nice. There's a bunch more people down there. Vampires. Mm. Okay, vampires. Have fun. Too far. Okay, that's that's bad. That's really bad. Through there. Nothing. and they are so high level. Okay, she's dead. Oh God. Ah. And Save me, save me dog. I mean, save me. God damn you. <sighs> Where's Shadow Bolt? Apparently I have no Shadow Bolt. Well, Shadow Bolt right now. Wait, go! Oh, good God! Leave me alone! <sighs> Eating my ass bit.
Need an area of effect calm spell now, apparently. <sighs> they really don't seem to fight each other that much, do they? No, 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 no. No. Go away. That did not go very smoothly. What happened to Shadow Bolt? Somehow it became completely disengaged. Completely removed from my favorites altogether. Bizarre. You guys gonna go back to where you were? We are. That one's not. How? How can you possibly be able to detect me? Nope. But I'm leaving. Demon dogs. Do I need to go down there? I would really like to know why my followers abandoned me too. I already located the trapdoor. Thank you very much. That happened ages ago. Okay, you are um, just a vampire? <laughs> Weird. <laughs> that was that was an interesting animation combination. A zombie that Argonian. Oh, this is new. Now you guys catch up. Like cowards that prey upon the refugees and take advantage of the Jarl's indifference. Or they act as refugees themselves. Theirs is to play the same game they played as children. They walk amongst the downtrodden, posing as their kin. If what you say is true, then the girl's story was a lie. She says they came from the river, that they phased through the ice. Your attachment to this brother and sister is affecting your judgment. How can we be certain they are not the twins we seek? I... I don't know. Let us see where this tunnel ends. It may take us to the bottom of the white or inside the city. Then we'll know for sure. 
Okay. I mean, if this takes us to the bottom of the river, that is the best sealed trapdoor ever. The Windhelm Warehouse. You see? Rinori was telling the truth. On the contrary, Argonian. We may be near the docks, but we're still inside the city. Do you think a god would notice a horde of vampires diving into the river? We're on the other side of the bank. There's no strategic advantage to using this tunnel whatsoever. Unless your aim was to get inside the city walls. You... you may be right. Was I blinded by what happened to our lass? Is this girl no different than that child? It seems I am in need of your counsel once more. You have spoken with the girl. What do you think? They use the river to take refugees and tunnels to pose as the victims. Um, don't look at me. My opinion is is basically whatever Varianna tells me to think. Um, I don't know. She was. She was clearly scared. But was she just. Was she um, playing the role that she was when she was a child? Because she was behaving as if it happened recently, but it was when she was a child, and yet here she was grown. Hmm. The wise port the wise course is to approach her but with caution. Ours will be cautious. In fact, the vigilant may have to be restrained. But yes, I agree. If Rinori is the one Arla spoke of so many years ago, then deception is her greatest weapon. On the other hand, if she is innocent, then she should be afforded an opportunity to clarify her story. She was staying at the corner club last, I remember. Let's head over there. Right on. But that is going to have to wait for the next episode because this is already running quite a ways over. Thank you very much for joining me, guys. We'll see you next time.